good to see you. It's been a while. I've been around. Um, so it has been a while since I posted any content. And uh, of course, I have an excuse for that. Um, I am a senior in high school this year. I started uh, in the beginning of the month of September. And uh, I've been working both over the summer, so from the end of last year and into this year, all my stuff for college. So, thank you to those of you who have been concerned about me, wondering where I was. I really appreciate that. Um, I've just been really busy and I've been working a real job. Yes, I got a real job. <laughs> and um, it's eaten up most of my time. You know, of course, school eats up the day. Uh, and then I work until around 6.30. So it doesn't leave me a ton of time to produce content. And over the summer, it was just a whole run of just visiting schools and uh, getting all my paperwork in order, which I'm still working on. But thankfully, the weekends exist and I've been able to make it out here to continually work on both my truck and the other Scout. And I'm sure most of you have been pending, waiting for an update on this vehicle. A lot has changed. We've worked very hard. Um, haven't missed a whole lot though, <laughs> truth be told, and um, yeah, but I think you'll like what we've done to it so far, and I'm sure most of you will like the direction we're heading with it. Okay, so first order of business, let's see, so I figured I would just do a channel update, kind of update everyone on the happenings, I've kind of given you a little bit about myself, I'll explain that a little bit later, but I think it's time to talk about sort of what's going to happen uh, in the long term, just in general here. So we've built up quite a following both on social media and of course on YouTube. We're up to about 650 subscribers last time I checked. So I want to thank you guys so much for the support. I love reading your comments. I love answering your questions. Um, so please continue to do that. Um, like I said, I will be I am a senior this year, so that means next year I will be going to college. I plan to move away for school, and so unfortunately, some, certain things will have to stay behind, but they're not going anywhere. They will be in my possession, and I will try and come home as much as possible to drive these vehicles and, of course, maintain them. Um, so as far as content, I can't make any promises, but I will try as hard as I can to produce content while I'm away at school. Um, I'm thinking maybe I can get into like the smaller restorations of stuff. So say for example, like a gauge cluster, if someone has a gauge cluster, they need refurbished, you know, take apart the gauges and clean behind them and everything. That is something I have done, I have experience with, I've had to do it on both of these vehicles now. And um, I think it would be good to do a little business off of that. And maybe I can make a little video about it on each individual gauge repair. Just something to kind of keep people interested is all. I don't want to totally abandon this. I think it's what we have here is great. And I absolutely 100% appreciate the following. So, next order of business. Project updates. So I don't want to spoil anything, but we do have a new project. Like we, like we need one of those. <laughs> um, quick spoiler. It is not a scout. It is not an international. It is not even American. All right, <clears throat> so I think it's time for some project updates. We're gonna start with the Texaco Scout, affectionately named Patches. I'm sure you can guess why, and if you can't guess, you're definitely gonna know by the time you take a look at it. So let's take a walk around that, and I'll give you guys the full rundown of what we're going with it. <laughs> So, I'm gonna give you the rundown here. Sorry, excuse the mess. It's been busy. All right, and there you go. It looks like the exact same, All right? Except there's no glass and there's no engine, but everything else underneath is brand new. There you go. So. What we had to do, or what we've done, is because the frame was so rotted, and it was, as you saw in the, in the previous video where it was boxed in, 
where we ripped apart the interior and stuff. Um, the floors were gone. The rocker panels were gone. And yeah, and the bed was gone. And so this is what we've been doing. Is I personally have been fabricating all of these floor pans except that one because we bought it. But all those tow boards, we bought the rockers too. That whole front section. And then we've had to do it on the other side here too. I've had to undo the door jam. It's sitting over there on the table. And we we had to pull the body off the frame, refurbish the frame. We put beefier axles in it. It used to have a Dana 27 front and rear like my Scout. Now it has a Dana 30 up front and a Dana 44 rear. And so what we plan to do with this truck is because it was so rusty, we're going to bring it back to how it was. Like we're redoing all the sheet metal. But our plan is, is to make modifications to the body to make it sort of like a, like a resto mod. Let me move this. So we're going to keep the original engine, keep the original, you know, drivetrain and stuff. And obviously we put the axles in it, but we're going to put EFI on the four cylinder. It's a Holley sniper EFI setup meant for like a Ford with a Holley carb with a like what would have like a Holley bolt pattern carburetor. And as most of you know, the Holley 1904 carburetor was what the Scout was running. I'm still running that on my truck. And so we're gonna put Holley's equivalent to that only with the computer controlled self-learning EFI deal, just for drivability sake and, and sort of reliability. Um, yeah, just for ease of, of function and stuff. It's gonna be a really neat vehicle. I'm designing a custom bracket to convert the mechanical linkage um, clutch, like with the whole crossbar linkage setup and converting that to a hydraulic setup. Um, I'll, I'll share with you at a later date the bracket that I'm designing. And if you're, and if it turns out to work and you're interested enough, maybe I'll do a limited run of them. So if you're interested in maybe getting one of those brackets, I could either share with you the plans if you want to make it yourself, or maybe, you know, if you supply the funds, I can make it for you and you could have something neat. Um, but the idea is that you just mount your clutch master, like the hydraulic master here, run your line down, and then there's going to be a flat bracket that holds the slave cylinder that will have a ball and socket type thing that can push on that arm and disengage your clutch. And uh, so it'll be a pretty neat setup if it, if it works. I imagine it should be the engineering makes sense and everything. So we're going to be returning this to... A stock body, like I said, we're working on getting the doors fit. If you remember how bad it was where you can open this door and shake the whole body up and down, we're trying to eliminate that. And so we're making everything solid again. What we've done to get the doors to fit is we've taken one of the arms of the lift and put it under this body, uh, or sorry, the door um, support here. And we put a jack under the rear to simulate body mounts. And uh, we've gotten this gap here, and that's pretty good. It's the the uh, door catch and hinges need to go in a little bit to get the door to be flush. Um, but as of right now, it's a pretty consistent gap all the way through. Uh, and so, obviously, the plan is we're gonna get rid of uh, you know all this rust here but what we're also going to do is fill in each one of these holes and get rid of those fresh air ducts and what we're going to do is we're going to put speakers behind this and we're going to take those ducts which they're already rusty so it's no loss if we do this we're going to cut the middle out of them and jam the two ends together and make it the backer plate for the speaker so you're going to have a speaker here a speaker on the other side and then we're going to do two in the dash so you get like a nice stereo setup for some music and then of course it came with the white top that's in uh, rough shape, unfortunately. So we might be looking for a new one. Uh, or we might, you know, try and spend our time one way or another and, and clean it up. Um, either way, I guess it's a, it's a good core for, I guess you can call it. So if you have one, hit us up. You know, I'll, I'll um, you know, put a comment down below and we'll, we'll swap information because we might be looking for one. But otherwise, things are moving along on this kind of slow. We've been in, we've almost been in this space for a year in December, if you remember. 
Can't believe it's been that long already. It doesn't feel like a ton has happened, but we're eliminating the rust and turning what would otherwise be a scrap project into a really nice running vehicle. And of course, we're gonna put some wheels on it. We're just gonna go with a black 16 inch spoked wheel. We're thinking about maybe getting SR2 wheels or like a Scout 2 wheel, the Chrome Rally, uh, and maybe painting those black or something. If we could find one where the Chrome is kind of already messed up, you know, we, we don't want to try it. We don't want to ruin a nice set of wheels for someone. We're just, we'll take the ones that are junky, have them sandblasted and then powder coated black or enamel for, for the heat. Um, but we've done disc brakes up front, like I've done on my truck. We've got um, 11 inch brakes in the rear, drums. We're gonna have a power brake booster. Um, so that's part of one of the, another one of those resto mod upgrades. I don't think it truly counts as a resto mod unless you do the engine too, but you know, we're, we're adding EFI and we've rebuilt the engine and, and stuff. So I, I guess. <laughs> Um, and then we have an aluminum radiator to put into it. Um, we're gonna do um, the gas tank in the back, like I said, and we're gonna put the um, fuel filler neck behind the tail light. So you swing the tail light open like a gas cap and you put your fuel in. So we've been kind of planning that out. I got the idea. I can't take credit for it at all. It was not my idea. If you go on, if you're on Instagram, go to IH Scout 369. I'll throw it up in the, in the description. He's got an awesome truck. It's a what you'd call a resto mod, and what he's done is he's made it so this sort of swings open to the side, you know, and then his filler neck is right there. I believe he has the rear mounted gas tank. I don't know if he has a custom tank. I was just focused on asking him about the filler. So basically all he did was build a box back here so we could set in his filler neck and then I'm sure he ran his tubes down to wherever his tank would reside and within his frame. I could assume. I don't know. Check him out on Instagram. Again, I'll throw it down there. Drop him a like on his post and give him a follow. So this is kind of it for now. There'll be updates when we get closer. Um, I'm kind of like... I don't really like to film bodywork and stuff because it's it's kind of just my process and I kind of just go about it. When I you know film videos, I kind of like I set aside time and if you can imagine like for me to set up a camera and, and think of things to say, things take kind of like twice as long. I really love making content for you guys, but we're on a limited you know schedule with this thing. We're already past when we were supposed to be out of here, but thankfully the landlord has been kind enough to kind enough to extend us for as long as we need, which is super cool. Um, so things have kind of just been like a scramble to like get as much done as we can before we actually have to get out of here if someone ends up buying or renting the place. All right, now let's do an update on my Scout. So here's my truck. Sorry about the sun. It's a nice, gonna be a nice day out. Usually it's kind of cold around this time here in the Northeast, but I think we're gonna see a pretty nice day today. Um, so my truck is pretty much how you remember it. I haven't done much. I think last time we worked on it was disc brakes, I think. Something like that. Yeah. And um, after that, um, I had to do a clutch in it. The old one got pretty bad. It was slipping. So it was kind of an emergency situation. Um, I bought the clutch. It, it came fairly fast and I just spent one afternoon just putting it in. All I did was drop the transmission and just sneak the clutch up in there and align it. And everything's good. Um, I went with a Fort Wayne clutch and driveline kit. And um, I couldn't be happier with it. It's a, it's a pretty heavy clutch. It's got twice as many springs than stock, so the pedal is a bit heavier. I've had to strengthen my linkage a little bit um, to get it to, to be nice and not flex so much. Um, there's so much traffic on this dead end road, I can't believe it. Um, but the interior hasn't changed at all, really. I did get the center console, it's a toughy center console, it locks and everything. Um, got the tachometer and everything. Um, got the gauges, got that neat magnet. Uh, I did get this rear seat, it is an original one. I bought it off eBay, I paid $75 for it. Uh, basically a steal 
and then you've already seen the hubcaps and and stuff I still have the sport top bumpers um, and everything like that and it runs beautifully I drive it all the time I drove it this morning it was 45 degrees no top no problem yeah so I love this truck never getting rid of it um, as far as things to come with it and with the channel in general for upcoming videos um, obviously we're gonna have our new project which I'll show you in a minute we're gonna be doing videos on this and I have a couple new parts um, that I got from classicscoutparts.com they were kind enough to send those over for me to try out and let them know how I like them so we have a fuel filler flange which is if you don't know um, actually be a better to show me on show you on this car this flange right here where your gas cap goes in usually they are pretty rusty and pretty pitted like this one this one's actually in decent shape but you know if you do a, a fresh new build like we're doing here um, which will actually we'll be eliminating these and filling them in because we're putting them in the back again resto mod the body's not super solid it's not a big loss so we can kind of get pretty loose with the fabrication um, my truck I'll put I'll put it on my my truck uh, what it is it's a aluminum machine like a CNC machine computer controlled milling machine and it's to exact standard as, standards as the old one, but it won't rust because it's aluminum and it's a bolt-in swap. And you can either paint it or leave it aluminum. Either way, it looks beautiful. And then following that, um, they also supplied me with a nice set of knobs for the dash here. So I have one for lights, a couple for wipers, uh, a choke one, and I think they might have given me, given me one for the cigarette lighter, I can't remember. Um, but they look exactly like this, except they're a billet aluminum style. They're not a chrome. Um, and so those will look really, really good in that truck, along with all the other upgrades we're doing. Um, so that will go to that project, and I'll take the, the fuel filler uh, flange. Uh, also, in the meantime, I have found a set of these front marker lights. If you've watched my earlier videos, you probably noticed that there were some cheapy aftermarket ones that were all plastic. Those were terrible. They worked, but they looked ugly. So I was able to get a set for the front. Let's see, two there. And if you notice, one big change is I fixed the dent. I don't claim to be a body guy, but I did buy this fender. It is a new old stock fender. I got it from a now good friend of mine, and uh, I was able to pull this out by hand, or hammered it out by hand, used a little bit of Bondo just to level everything, and I set the gap, and it looks great. Uh, eventually, I will paint the truck. I believe I might have said I'm going back to green uh, like it was, but I think I gotta keep it orange at this point for the, for the legacy of it. I'm known around town and at basically all of you who watch me on the internet now, so it's gotta stay the orange scout. Also, one big change is I fixed the hood. You can see here, I spent some time and I put in metal and I bent it and brought it across and I set my gap, used a little bit of filler where necessary just for now. And I think it looks fantastic. I also gave it a good wash last night, put the nice stuff on the tires cleaned up my hubcaps a little bit so she's all clean and happy uh, there's a little car show that meets every Sunday at this little like I guess you call it a strip mall kind of I don't really know how else to explain it I like to bring it there and no matter what new Camaro Mustang piece of old junk um, is there I always kind of steal the show so I'll be going there um, pretty soon so, all right, new project time. I think you guys, some of you are gonna like it. Some of you are gonna be like, oh my God. Some of you are probably just gonna not care either way, I don't know. <laughs> but um, like I said, this is a, a gift. This, what I bought was a gift for my mom. Um, so it's for her and we're gonna do the full restoration on the channel as part of the project I'm doing for school. It's a full documentation, you know, is required, as well as a few write-ups and a few videos. And so you'll just be along for the ride and 
I'll be sharing my tips and tricks on body work and stuff. I know it'll take a little longer, like I said, but I do want to document it. There's, there's your little, little sneak peek right there. All right, let's pull it in the garage. They made these cars um, from about 1959 to 1970, early 1970, and then they switched the model to the 164. Uh, like I said, I bought this as a gift for my mom. I bought it in secret up in Massachusetts. Didn't run, didn't drive. Wheels were seized up, tires were flat. I had to drag it home on a trailer. Uh, I had to swap in the engine from the other car, which was on the side. Um, I'll make a video dedicated soon um, to, the, to this car. Um, and like I said, it's just going to be a full restoration. There's a ton of junk in the back. Um, and it's all body panels off that other car. There's two front fenders, a nose cone, uh, a driver's door. There's boxes of parts. Um, all inside here. Nice seat, isn't it? And, um, yeah. A little armor all. Just take care of that. So it's not in the worst condition. Uh, it's not, it's definitely not worse than the other car. The other car is a complete goner. Um, you could take the time to restore it if you want. The doors still shut nice on that car as they do on this car. So you could spend your time, but at the end of the day, it's not worth it for that car. This car, I'm gonna have a lot of time into it, but at least I'm not paying someone to do it. So I think it'll be a fantastic project. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful when it's done. You guys are going to be along for the ride on this one as well, so I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't worry, the international stuff isn't going anywhere. That's still the main focus of our channel, is to save and rebuild and drive those. But this is just kind of like a main-ish side project that we're going to be working on. Um, and we're going to see it through to, to completion no matter what. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys stay safe out there. We'll catch you next time. Take care. That's all folks, see you next time, thanks for watching.